Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week, as it's Le Mans weekend, we're going to draw a Porsche 956, which is probably one of the most successful cars there. Um, so we'll start with the front wheel over here. Try to draw as lightly as you can. Next one will be one, two, and a bit further, uh, wheels further back. Draw another one. The bottom of the car, very low to the ground, this would be the front end. Um, just a horizontal line about there. We can also put a horizontal line in level with the middles of the wheels. That would be a, a join in the bodywork. The nose of the car is almost a whole wheel in front, say three quarters of a wheel. So make a little line there for the nose. And the tail end of the car is say a wheel level with the top of the back wheel there and then you measure one wheel and a quarter just about fits in um, we need a little line downwards there so it wants to be the tail is a bit lower than the top edge of this wheel this is going to be our tail there you can add a little sloping line going up to that now is the tricky part which is a curve that goes downwards over the light upwards over the front wheel then downwards then back upwards again over the back wheel and then downwards again so lots of wheels um, we'll make it a bit easier by giving ourselves some marks so if you measure half a wheel further back after this front wheel make a little mark level with the top edge of your front wheel that's going to be the low point um, so we need to do a small dip downwards to start off and now we're into the upwards curve that goes over the front wheel and then comes back down to meet this. Very tricky to do it all in one go, it's easier to break it into a few chunks, draw lightly. The next bit gets a bit easier, so over the back wheel a little bit higher, that's going to be the high point there, so over that and then drop down into the tail, you want a nice sort of swoopy streamlined shape like that. That's the tricky bit out of the way. Um, our windscreen on general kind of cabin area, um, one wheel further back than the front wheel and up from there, that's going to be the high point of your roof section. Don't make it too tall. And then the windscreen will start level with the middle of your front wheel, so here, and then it will come up to that kind of point and then drop down so we'll blend into the tail around here somewhere. So about the back edge of the wheel, the back wheel. There we are. Again, a nice streamlined, tapering shape. And uh, last of all, the we've got a wing to add. So we've got a vertical line here. The wing comes out to the body at the middle of the back wheel there. Swoops upwards and then levels out. There are various different tails on different models, but we'll do this one. There's our basic outline. Add the ground in as well. Um, now we need to add the details. So we've got, starting at the front, we've got um, a clear section with a headlight in. Um, see how far back is this? So. If you go to the halfway point between the wheels, come up from there, um, your side window needs to be just a bit in front of that, knowing that the halfway point, everything's in front of the halfway point is a useful thing so you don't end up bringing your windscreen too far back. Um, so now you need a, a small side windscreen with a sloping front and that slope gives you your curving windscreen shape and in that windscreen we've got a sun visor and on the side one one of those little slidey windows and now a bit further back we've got the, the join for the rear bodywork comes down to this line there the door has a join line and I think has a square front edge and a sloping back edge. 
and we've got an exhaust kind of coming out here and some vents and uh, what else do we need? I think the last part really is to add a bit of depth so we can show the wheels on the far side darken the underside of the car the rear wheels on the far side, maybe put the shadow on the ground this is the point where you can be a bit bolder with your your marks, especially in the underside where it's darker. And now we can add small details like the filler caps, logos. Rather than drawing or writing out everything, I tend to just do little boxes to show where the text is, because otherwise you'd, you'd just make the drawing too complicated by writing everywhere. So some faint boxes will just give the idea that there's some some stickers on. Um, big number at the front. And number one is the easiest to draw. There's quite a few stickers down the front here. And that's pretty much it, I think. Um, just firm up some of the inside of the cabin where it might be a bit darker and you can see up into the roof. Oh, there's a wind mirror there. Nearly missed. Just add a few little slightly stronger marks just to beef your drawing up and make it have a bit more range of different darks and lights that makes it more interesting to look at. And uh, there we have a Porsche 956. Hope you're having a good weekend and enjoying the race if you're watching it. See you for another one soon.